Hello everybody, welcome back to another 3 Minutes at 3. Today we're going to talk about employees or subcontractors, or also known as independent contractors. So this is something that you may have to decide in your business at some point, especially if you get enough work or maybe get overwhelmed with work of whether you're going to bring on employees or not. And so there's always some legalities and some taxes, and I really suggest that you get with somebody who knows their tax law very well when it comes around to taxes. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe even an attorney to take and figure out what's going to work best for you and in your particular situation. Uh, because the classification of the person that is helping you, it does actually matter when it comes to that, doesn't mm -hmm. it? As oh, yes. we have found out. Yes, it does. Uh, in fact, the IRS, they actually have a questionnaire to help you determine is the person you're paying mm -hmm. going to be classified as an independent contractor or an employee. And this is going to vary somewhat state to state if you're in the United States. And obviously, if you're in a foreign country, uh, it may it may have completely different implications. So definitely check with your local laws on that. Um, but in my definition, which could be the wrong definition completely, as I have found out, is you know, an employee is somebody who has a nine to five job with you. They have a pay slip. You pay a certain amount of their taxes and their benefits and their things like that, right? And that's an employee. They show up from a specific time. They go home at a specific time. They're working in your shop, your building, your place, mm -hmm. whatever it is yes, that you're fully doing, under right? Your direction. They're fully under your direction and control. As where a subcontracted laborer is somebody who is you know, they're subbing out to you. So that means you don't pay them a, a straight up paycheck, it's a percentage of something, or it might be piecework, or something like that. And that is my definition there of a subcontracted employee. Now, Jessica, you can yes, show how that sure. differs for a minute here. Sure, I will. Um, yeah, we did. I did a fair amount of extensive research on this, and there is a lot more that goes into having an employee. There are so many forms you have to file. You are responsible for a good bit of additional taxes that goes along with that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a lot to it as far as, like, having certain uh, insurances and things in place, too. Uh, it's a pretty big deal. So it's a pretty big undertaking if you're going to have an employee versus an independent contractor, it's something that you could have uh, one off done to them. So if you have, you want some handles made or you wanted them preformed by another blacksmith and you say, hey, could you make 20 of these? You know, I want them in this size and shape and I'd like them by the 20th. Then it's up to that independent contractor to, to mm -hmm. go about directing their own work to make it happen to your specifications and they work at their own location. Uh, yeah. and as soon as you cross that line and you are the one directing the work, now you have become an employer and they are an employee, mm -hmm. basically. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. So this can go really on a deep topic. We'll try to touch on it on some other three minutes at threes and some longer business talks in the future. So thank you all for uh, joining us on this little three minutes at three because that's going to conclude it. Yes. Thanks for coming along. And as always, God bless you. And we'll catch you on the next one.